Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. And we are continuing on with the uh, the building of my bridge, the amazing walk palm bridge thingy. Um, like always, just we got to get some doors going first, and um, from there I can continue to build. Uh, I still have never done the bottom part of these walls yet of the uh, the gold ramp. Which I probably should someday. But it's okay. I don't need it right now. We're doing fine right now. Alright. Oh gosh, come on. One more, one more. It's a little jumpy today. And there we go. Last one. Last one. All done. Okay. Now, before I end up messing this up, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Um, so, <clears throat> I was just loading in, and I realized that I miss something about Lumber Tycoon 2. I miss the mystery that it had at the very beginning. When you first come in, and you first start to discover things, and the first adventure part of Lumber, I mean... Because there's, there's no instructions telling you where to go to get the lava wood. There's no instructions telling you how to go and find the things that are around. And just listening to the music itself while I was sitting there waiting for the load, it brought back that feeling, that mystery of like, what's on top of that mountain? What's over there? What mysteries can I uncover? That is why I play Lumber. And I've been looking for that feeling again for a long time. Because you also have, there's a, a fear of losing the axe. Um, there's a fear of not having enough money to buy something once you do discover it. Or once you find that thing. Uh, the first time getting, uh, getting into the cave and getting lost. And having that moment of despair like I'm never going to get out of this place but you keep playing it and you keep going and it happens I mean you find your way back out or you reset and you lose your axe that's cool too just that uh, that mystery I miss that but I mean it's changed I'm I'm the guy that does the videos about like what those mysteries are and what you can do inside lumber so I mean it's it's still good. It's still amazing to this day. And uh, I cracked a joke today inside the Discord on drive time. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I do evening drive time with code inside my Discord. Um, check it out at discord.gg forward slash code priming. <clears throat> Anyhow. Um, somebody asked, uh, one of the kids asked, Hey, um, when are you going to play Lumber again? And I just, I cracked the joke. Uh, oh, I don't play Lumber anymore. And, like, the entire room was silent. He goes, what? <laughs> I was like, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, gosh. So, um, yes, I do have other interests besides Lumber. I promise. I, I play Fortnite. I play other games. I play other things. So I don't want you guys thinking that, like, oh, it's all lumber. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Oh, it's not. No. Mm -mm. It's not. Um, I play a lot. In, in sometimes, some instances, I will record two or three videos at a time. That way I can, uh, I can upload them and not have to record for two or three days at a time. That is something I've just done with um, Fortnite Save the World. And I probably shouldn't have because I really like playing Fortnite, um, Save the World, and I like Battle Royale. But because I have those recordings done, it means I can go and work on my uh, arena status. Which, by the way, I am on Division 3, I think. So. Um, okay. We'll just chop this right here. That'll fall down there. That's good. It'll be fine. You're, you're, you're good. You're good. I don't want to go near those 
doors. Do 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 do. But like even now, I'm, I'm I was thinking about Fortnite Battle Royale while lumber was loading in. I also thought about um, <clears throat> was it Shadow of the Colossus? How it was like one of my original games and one of the first games that got me really into video games. I mean, I was big into video games before, but it changed the idea of what a video game could be for me. It could, it could be a, a form of storytelling, a, an entire um, artistic expression. Just different. Rotate turn. <clears throat> and I encourage you to do the same. If you have something that you're passionate about, have you ever thought about trying to make a game out of it? Go for it. Try it. See if it works. Who knows? Others might follow along. <clears throat> and if you're having a bad day, a video game is a great way to escape from that day. Now, with all forms of coping, um, be sure that you don't take to video games more than real life because yes it's a nice temporary relief but if you are like me um, you can get addicted or you can fall prey to getting stuck <laughs> inside a game and what I mean is it's very easy to lose track of time uh, especially for somebody like me with ADHD. And I'm trying to get better at it. But I mean, trying to get better at something for 37 years. Well, not totally 37. 32. Is it five? I was five years old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I bet I'm pretty much stuck. I, I lose track of time real easy. Let's do turn. Rotate, rotate, and off we go. <clears throat> now what's bad about my particular situation, and I will say this out loud just because um, parents, you need to know this at the same time, kids, you need to be aware of this. Getting lost in video games can be scary because I have had nights before where it's 4.30 in the morning and we've got to go do something at eight o'clock the next day. And I only get three and a half sleeps and it's, it's the weekend and it's happened before. And I'm pretty sure it's going to happen again, eventually. But losing track of time isn't, uh, I'm not the only person that's done it and you're not the only person that's done it. It happens, so. Um, oh gosh. How am I supposed to... Really? I have an Apache attack helicopter flying overhead right now. I mean, jeez, come on guys. <coughs> okay, I tell you what, I will do this. I'm gonna have to stick that there. That way I can jump up here and start building on that. That'll work. Man, that is a long ways up there, though. All right. Oh, I'm gonna look down, then we look up. I don't think that's a helicopter. I think that is a motorcycle. I'm gonna have to ask my neighbor to stop running his motorcycle. Doesn't he know that I'm over here trying to play Roblox? Just kidding. I would never do that. Well, maybe. I mean, if he was doing it constantly, every single day. <clears throat> it is a motorcycle. Oh, But it's a cool one, too. Not like a Harley. Harley. No, no offense to people who like Harleys, but I think Harleys and, like, motorcycles and stuff in general. If it's going to be a motorcycle, I want it to be fast and sleek looking like a ninja. And in fact, there, there is a, a motorcycle called the Ninja, but that's not what I meant. <clears throat> I like 
the bikes. Uh, dirt bikes are pretty cool too. I grew up with the dirt bike, actually. It had the number five on it. It was yellow. Always reminded me of Short Circuit, Johnny number five, which was a little robot that got struck by lightning and was claimed to be defective, but in fact, Johnny five is alive. <clears throat> That's an old movie. <clears throat> Which, by the way, is mentioned inside um, Ready Player One, towards the end. Yeah, you didn't see that in the movie, did you? It's because it was only in the book. Ugh. The walk. The dreaded long climb to the top. And I'm going to have to finish out the top with... Uh, with a stair step down as well, aren't I? Right. Just kind of climb up here like this. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so to do this, I'm going to need to place a door here, right? No, I want to. I want to place a door here. Is this door too far? Yeah, that needs to go down some. Okay, let's open this. Let's move this one out of the way. Here, you, you come down there for a second. And open this one. Open this one. And now if we move this one, that's still not gonna work. Hmm. Move this one? No. What in the world? Oh my gosh! <laughs> How did that, uh, hmm. Well, then, that's, an, that's one way to do it, I guess. So it was definitely a vertical door. Um, maybe this one? No, there we go. That door right there, that's the, that's the ticket. <laughs> All right, uh, if we open that one, and then we move this one, B, there we go. Now we should be able to close that one. <laughs> there we go. Wow. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and turn that one. We're not going to be able to come down one at all, are we? Hmm. Maybe that's why I had it there. And it could be. Yep. That's why it was there. <clears throat> See, I was thinking it was there for a different reason. No. Oh, it's because that's where it had to be. Now let's do a um, turn on that one. Place this one right about here. I should be able to shut this one. Oh, come on, a little bit closer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to open that one back up though. So now, let's start with the bottom. Move. And we want to go a turn. Can we get any closer? There we go. There's one. No, no. <laughs> nice. Two. Move this one. Three. That's good. And move that one. Five, I think. 
Is that on the edge? It should be. Ooh, just barely. So now, if I move that one... Move B. It's now stuck. Move B. Now that one's stuck. One of these, not that one. Close door. There we go. Move B. <clears throat> Seems like a fairly smooth transition, you would think. Probably not. Let's do a turn right here. This way I can jump up here like this. Then. I'm gonna have to open it from that side. There we go. Now, notice how this one was right there on the end. I think I'm gonna do the same thing right here. So, let's go down here, grab these, move this one, jump up here. Silly goose. Steven, your fault. Okay, not working. It's not really working at all, is it? Probably should have anchored the bottom. That's uh, fine. Open and then move B. Good. All right. We're going to need more doors. And I won't make the joke about more door. Closer, please. Hmm. Probably not. Maybe. Come on, get on there. There you go. You'll be fine. Just please. Does not want. Ooh. Wait, there was that was it. That's the ticket. Good. Thank you, the boy, for subscribing. <laughs> boy! Alright. <laughs> More basic doors. That is how the cool primate do. If you find yourself in Lumber Tycoon 2 with golden headphones and wings, you could be a cool primate. Sounded kind of like Z Frank right there. By the way, not appropriate. Not family friendly. Hmm. Pretty funny though. All right, let's get a little bit closer. There. 
kind of like the Bob Ross of uh, we're talking to. <clears throat> not really, not really the Mr. Rogers of uh, of lumber. I guess I could be, but I'd have to do a lot more like self-reflection, which I guess I kind of do. <laughs> Have you ever seen a cat's eyes in the dark and wondered what they were? Have you ever thought about things like that before? You can almost paint with anything. All you have to do is practice. There are elements here. And start out by believing here. This is your world. You're the creator. Find freedom on this canvas. Or, um, yeah. Believe that you can do it, because you can do it. I believe, I believe. Every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe. It'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. I'm not actually singing right now. I'm just kind of mumble singing along. Which, by the way, how many of you missed these videos? Just saying. The ones where I come in here and just build and talk and give you encouragement for the day and the reassurance that everything is going to be okay. No matter how bad things seem, you can always go play a video game. The imagination of somebody went into creating this, creating this place, this world. And it was all built off multitudes of other ideas. So never think that you've got a bad idea, or a dumb idea, or a dumb question, because it's not. Without questions and curiosity, nobody would have said, hey, can I make a physics engine that replicates real physics so kids could experiment with things? And then that would have never led to somebody else going, Hey, I wonder if we could make a game out of this. And then somebody else said, Hey, what if we were to give them the ability to make their own games? And it got bigger. And the idea grew. And before you knew it, kids were making games. Young adults were making games. And somebody came up with the idea of Lumber Tycoon 2. Which led to a child who wanted to play. And he started a YouTube channel. Ethan Gamer, by the way. And that child entertained some more children, my kids, whose dad saw what they were watching, saw a really good family-friendly YouTuber, and thought, hmm, I could go play that with my kids. And before you knew it, he met somebody inside Lumber. And that person said, why don't you make a video about this? Which turned into me. So the idea that anything is dumb or that it, you don't think is important, feed it. Don't, don't stifle it. Don't say it's dumb. Don't think down about yourself. Okay? Because that idea very could very well could turn into the next big thing, the next Roblox, and I fell.
It's a humbling thought. <laughs> I was about to say, what is that off there in the distance? But it's actually, it's just a, just a smudge on my screen. <laughs> My chair's making noises at me. It sounded much louder in the microphone, though. Because the microphone's attached to the table bone. The table bone is connected to the microphone. The chair made a squeaky sound on the table. And that's what it made the table bark. <clears throat> Ooh. We can come up one more. One, one more, one, one more. No, we cannot. It is not attaching for some reason. Oh, there we go. There we go. So now I should be able to open this one. Hold on. We want to be able to open from the other side. Open from this side. There we go. And now, grab this one. How far along are we? Oh, we're at 27 minutes. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize the time. We've got a lot of building done. Turn. A lot of building and a little time. Right there. Close this one. And close this one. Want to move B. Move B. I guess we don't want to attach that one quite yet. Move B. There we go. My goodness oh my goodness golly geez that's funny <clears throat> I really do like coming in here and just chatting and talking and I hope you guys enjoy it too I know I know there's a lot of other youtubers that you could go and watch right now and they'd be like really excited and jumping around and all kinds of crazy stuff and don't get me wrong I've got my crazy streak <laughs> guys probably have never seen it but um, yeah it's definitely on a next level on a different level of ADHD do, 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 do. Hmm. wonder how that handle is going to handle move we do this open from the bottom side oh well hey that works because that's the only spot that's stuck right sweet oh careful 
I've almost got this thing done. Which I'm quite surprised at. Diligent work and constant reminders from fans that you need to finish your bridge have led to this moment. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be the last one, isn't it? Oh gosh. Is that one actually attached? I think so. Should be fine. Should be fine. Move B. Should we keep going? I mean, that's still a lot of stairs. We can at least go te like test it. I mean, if anything, I could use that as a uh, thing. Yeah, let's do it. We've only got we're, we're out of time, but if you want to stick around and see this. Did we leave anything up there? Come on, let's take a look. No, it doesn't look like part of the doors. That looks like a part of our build. I was also thinking, what if I were to make some little steps right here? That way I could blacklist people, lower my bridge, and you would still be able to get to the palm wood to get yourself some palms. It's a thought, it's an idea, it happens. I'm glad I added the extra door too, right here. Uh-oh, my chair barked again. Mm. What a lovely walk. And it's nice and smooth. No roughness to the... Okay, that was a little rough. But if we take a look... Yeah, I can long plank that. I'll just use the uh, the palm that I chopped down, and I can climb back up. Maybe. <laughs> Almost there. Nearly there. Just walking straight off into the fog. I hope everybody had a, a happy Easter. It was a it was a good day. Got to do a egg hunt with the family in the morning. Then we went out and we did an egg hunt. Uh, we went to the Discovery Center. I, wait, we did that on Saturday. So the Discovery Center had an egg hunt. So it was fun. I uh, went and ate with family on Sunday afternoon. I had fish and chips. It was really good. And malt vinegar. Oh, malt vinegar. A lot of kids are like, ew, yuck, no malt vinegar. A lot of adults are like that too, but I find malt vinegar one of the best things that you can put on any food. I mean, I would drink it straight if I could. It's amazing. Here's a nice tree. There's only five, tr five trees. Wow. Normally there's more than that. There we go. I'll just prop that right up there like that. Oh, maybe. Like that. Walk up. Turn around. Grab it again. Should I turn this around? No, it'll be fine. Okay. And we'll just walk back with it. Seems a little glitchy, but that's that's okay. Should be fine. We'll be fine. It's another song that I really like. Is the uh, it's one of my favorite songs. The the island melody. <clears throat> it's still not as iconic as the uh, Kevin MacLeod's Easy Lemon. <clears throat> Which is the daytime song of the main area. I guess there is no daytime nighttime song, is there? It's just daytime. Or just the song of the area you're in. I said you're in. <laughs> just kidding. It's a pee joke. You can giggle. 
at pee jokes. They're funny. We are almost back. Where is that thing at? Okay. Don't fall in, Code. Whatever you do, don't fall in. Completely missed. Oh, oh, there we are. Just short, isn't it? <laughs> Am I gonna risk it? You bet. <laughs> Skills to pay the bills. Walk slowly. Carry a big log. Oh wait, is that walk softly? <laughs> so, functional. It is definitely functional. All right, I will go plank this off. Yeah, I mean, you guys don't want to see the boring part of me actually planking this thing. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon Two with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end, but it's really your choice. And YouTube just says, hey, make sure you do a call out. That's what I did. I did a call to action, and I hope it was good enough. Love you guys very much. We'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro. Thank you.